Have you heard people say that religion is a crutch? Yeah, well, if your leg's broken, you need a crutch. So religion can be a crutch. If you realize your leg is broken and you've got it set, you've set your bone, you've put on a cast, and you realize that you need a crutch, that crutch is going to help you heal your leg and get you back into a position to walk again. If you did not have the necessary aids to heal your broken leg, you'd end up being unable to walk, being a cripple. So you see that a crutch in its place is extremely valuable. Of course, if your leg has healed and you continue to walk with a crutch, it kind of goes the other way. You could end up being a cripple without the crutch. If you get used to walking with a crutch and fail to exercise your leg back into health, you will need that crutch till the end of your days. So you see, in some circumstances, a crutch can be disastrous. So is religion a crutch? Yes, it is. If your leg's broken, you need a crutch. If you're wise, if you're foolhardy and say, no, I'm going to tough this out and just try and walk with your broken leg, see how far that gets you. So if you are in need of healing, and realize that and use that crutch correctly, it can lead to your healing. But if you are not in need of healing, if you've already been healed or you are perhaps even really in need of healing, but you use that crutch beyond the point where you have been healed or should have been healed and you continue to use that crutch then you will be sealing into your body a permanent crippling. So likewise can religion be a crutch. If you use it beyond the point of healing, i.e., or rather e.g., for example, if you use religion beyond the point where you should be thinking critically, then you cripple your mind. If you reuse religion beyond the point of healing and use it to oppress those who do not follow your interpretation of the rules, then you're using it as a crutch and crippling your spiritual growth and using it to literally, figuratively, beat others over the head with, with this crutch. You use this crutch and hit people on the head with it. If you use religion beyond the point of healing and into the area of legalism and oppression, yes, religion can be a crutch. So is religion a crutch? I say yes, it is. But so what? Sometimes you need a crutch. You need the crutch to heal up, to get yourself healthy. And then what? You stop using that crutch. That doesn't mean you throw it away, but if you were once broken and you used a crutch and healed up, then you could throw away that crutch and say, I don't need you anymore. I'm my own man now. Or you could use that crutch, holding it in your hands, realizing, hey, I don't need this crutch anymore. Or rather, I don't need to use this crutch as a crutch anymore and you look around and you see broken people 
who do need a crutch and you help them with this crutch help them to use this crutch to the point that they are healed and then kind of take that crutch away from them <laughs> and show them how to pass on the usage of this crutch so religion it's not a physical crutch but it is an invisible crutch it can be used to harm or it can be used to heal it can be used to get you healthy and strong or it can be used to cripple you for life so what do you want to do with this crutch it really is up to you what do you want to do with religion it really is up to you that is don't blame anyone else what do you want to do with it